And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Good Saturday evening, everyone. Once again, a very hot afternoon all around the valley with high temperatures easily reaching the triple digits in parts of the mid and upper valley. And that will continue for tomorrow. So try to stay cool out there. We've had mostly sunny skies today, mostly clear skies so far. We may see a few more clouds overnight into early Sunday morning. It is still very warm out there with temperatures mostly in the low to mid 80s, but we're still at 90 degrees for you folks in Rio Grande City. It's been very breezy today. Now the winds have come down just a bit, still a little bit breezy, especially in McAllen with a gust of 26 winds out of the southeast. We have wind gusts 25 in Westlaco winds sustained out of the south. 17 miles an hour. All right, here's your day planner forecast for tomorrow. We're going to start off very warm at 8 o'clock in the morning with temperatures in the lower 80s, mostly sunny skies. Then we're back to the mid 90s and noon, mostly sunny and breezy. 97 is your temperature at 5 p.m., also breezy throughout the afternoon. The tropics are quite active in the Pacific Ocean. Here is Tropical Storm Greg. Maximum winds are 50 miles per hour, moving to the west at 13 miles an hour. Here's the Pacific coast of Mexico. So Greg will continue toward the West over open Pacific waters remaining a tropical storm, then weakening to a depression by the middle portion next week. We had Tropical Depression 9E earlier today. It has now strengthened into Tropical Storm Hillary. Maximum winds are 40 miles per hour. Here's the Pacific coast of Mexico once again. Hillary is moving to the west northwest at 14 and should become a hurricane by next week. The track keeps it offshore. However, we are looking at a good chance of high ocean swells and heavy surf along the Pacific coast of Mexico over the next few days right through next week. And here is Tropical Depression 10E. Maximum winds 35 miles per hour. 10E. E is expected to remain, of course, over open Pacific waters, but become a tropical storm by next week. Back home in the U.S., the reason for our very hot weather in Texas in the valley is thanks to this big upper level ridge, this big dome of stable air. So that air is sinking, and as it sinks, it compresses and warms, and that's why the temperatures have been so hot for the past couple of days. And note this little upper level low bringing some rain to Louisiana. Sadly, it stays to the north of us, so for us, our rain chances are pretty much zero for tomorrow and for Monday. Now, by Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, there may be a little bit more moisture available to give us a slight chance for some spotty showers or thunderstorms, but the key word is slight. We're only talking about a 20% chance of a shower or thunderstorm for your Tuesday and Wednesday. In any case, it will still stay hot with high temperatures in the upper 90s to triple digits for next week as that ridge of high pressure controls our weather for the next uh, couple of days. On the water, we'll have winds out of the uh, south to southeast at 10 to 20 knots. Small craft should use caution both on the bay and the Gulf waters. Your next tide is a high tide at 616 tomorrow morning, and the seas are 2 to 5 feet. Those bay waters, by the way, are choppy. So just a few clouds overnight. It'll be, of course, warm, breezy, and muggy with a low temperature of 79 degrees. Then for tomorrow, that scorching heat is back in full force. Mostly sunny, breezy and hot with a high temperature of 100. It stays breezy for tomorrow. Still hot on Monday, high temperature 100. Then we have partly cloudy skies Tuesday and Wednesday with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs are back to the triple digits for Thursday, Friday and Saturday with mostly sunny skies. And the mornings are warm. They remain in the upper 70s. I want to remind everybody we have the free hurricane tracking map from Channel 5 at any Whataburger location in the valley. That's your first warm five forecast. Now here